Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you guys are doing good. So, missed, a, missed putting out a video yesterday because we had what's called a nor'easter in uh, New England. So what a nor'easter is, for those of you who don't know, is basically like a, it's a wintertime hurricane. Um, it's not wintertime yet, obviously, it's the fall, but it, it acts like a, um, a hurricane. So, a lot of high winds, a lot of rain. Um, it's just kind of it's it's just nasty, and it it uh, all the and it's worse when all the leaves are still on the trees. You know, it's they all haven't fallen off yet, so it's um, it gets dangerous. So a lot of telephone poles came down, a lot of tree limbs snapped, and people are without power. Um, fortunately, for some reason, I didn't lose power, and usually. I'm the first person to lose power. So I was shocked as all get out that we didn't lose power. Um, but I think 50% of the town is still without power. My town's only maybe like 1,800 people. So when we lose power, we lose power for days because the power company is like, yeah, you're last on the list because they base things on population density. So whenever town's got the most population they work on first, and then they come to us. And then my my town has such a small population, and my road is a dead-end road. So I'm generally the last road they work on. So thankfully, I have a generator for situations like this, but I didn't need to utilize it um, at all. So that was good. But what I really want, what I want to talk about today is, I mean, I think the Democrats are falling apart completely. So... Um, oh, my text message just didn't pop up because I hit do not disturb on my notifications. Um, so you have Kamala Harris out there preaching, saying that um, uh, Donald Trump's first, right, first Amendment rights should be stripped because she wants to take away his Twitter account. You got Beto O'Rourke out there. Tell, uh, telling, I think it was CBS or NBC um, News, that um, his plan for gun confiscation uh, is going to work, and law enforcement law enforcement will abide by uh, his rules. The guy is absolutely nuts. And Hillary Clinton thinks Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset again with the Russian asset. This time, it's their own party. I'm telling you right now, they're eating their young again. Absolutely insane. If you're not part of the party establishment, you're a freaking asshole. And you are not to be trusted. You're out of there. So, I don't know, man. So, if you guys don't know that. So, Hillary Clinton was talking to, I think it was a CNN reporter, Ploof or something. And she basically, she was asked a question about third parties. And, you know, she said, oh, well, Jill, since Jill Stein the third party candidate took votes away from her. Um, she basically helped Trump win the election. I'm like, wait a minute. And Jill Stein got more than like 10 votes. Uh, how did that help? I just think that Trump kicked your ass and you have a hard time believing that. And you still can't accept it. You old haggard bitch. So she's now saying that Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset. And she thinks that she is going to run as an independent or green party or some third third party and she will take votes away from whoever the democrat nominee is and secure trump the win in 2020 i'm telling you right now man these people have gone off the reservation they are I, i've never seen a group of people so frazzled so insane so just they've gone nuts They've gone nuts. I don't know what the deal is. Common sense is gone. Everybody's attacking them. Um, you know, it's always somebody else's fault. It's never their own. Um, let's push the blame on now again. Let's keep blaming the Russians for... Um, they, because the Russians want Tulsi Gabbard to run as a third party. They really like her. They want her to do that. Because Hillary Clinton says so. Fucking retard. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but man, these guys are assholes. Um, and then you have Kamala Harris 
going on the news and basically saying we need to strip President Trump of his Twitter account. The only one. Nobody else, everybody else can still have them. But President Trump, we need to strip it because he's abusing it. He's abusing it. Uh, no, that's the First Amendment. I'm sorry. You can't just take away someone's Twitter account because you don't agree with them. But then again, that's how these socialists operate. You can call them Democrats all you want to. They're fucking socialists. There's no, there's no getting around that. And that's that's the you know one of the first things. Take away their freedom of speech. Take away the guns. Take away the health care. Put it all in government hands, and we are fucking screwed. And then we are a socialist country because now we're stuck with the government telling us what we can and can't do. And if we don't do it right, probably making our own goddamn Siberian jail somewhere. Probably turn Alaska into a Siberian jail cell. Um, so she's she's out there saying that. And then Mark, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was interviewed yesterday by uh, Dana Perino. And he basically said, look, you can't do that. You, uh, private companies should not be stripping people of their First Amendment rights. You, um, he basically said, and he said, um, uh, you, you like who you like uh, for politics. Um, you're, you make an, your own informed decisions, um, and private companies should not be influencing influencing those decisions. Now, take that with a grain of salt because we all know that Facebook. Um, has their own biases. It's very apparent um, that they have their own biases. So, but again, he's not—he's not saying we should shut down the First Amendment or people's rights. Shut down your account on Twitter because you don't say the right thing. You don't say the things that we want you to say. Come on. I mean, I—I I think we all should chip in and get all the 2020 candidates, you know, brown shirts, and uh, maybe we can get those like little. Uh, Hitler mustaches, we can just like stick them all on there because that is that's who these people are. They're they're always claiming that the the Republicans and the conservatives are 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 Nazis and and you know uh, love Hitler. I'm like, give me a break, man. What you're doing trying to turn this country into socialist a socialist country is exactly what Hitler did: taking the guns, taking our freedom of speech, taking our health care. Not gonna fucking happen. Not gonna fucking happen. Let me say it again. I'm sorry for using the F-bomb, but I think I've come to terms with the fact that I have a potty mouth. I can't help it. So if you guys don't like it, maybe I lose five freaking subscribers because I, I swear sometimes. But you know what? I'm sorry. Um, and then the next thing. So we got Beto O'Rourke. Beto Jackass O'Rourke. Call him Francis. Francis! Um... He, again, is going on on TV wanting to take our guns away yet again because I think his plans come out of his mouth as he speaks. He just goes, oh, you're going to ask me a question about gun control? Well, here's my plan. Um, yeah, that, that sounds good. That's my plan. So he's now saying that he's going to confiscate, or uh, I shouldn't say confiscate. He's going to have a buyback of all of the assault weapons. Well, first of all, this guy doesn't know what a fucking assault weapon is. He thinks an AR-15 is an assault weapon, and he calls it a weapon of war, which it's not. It's a semiotic rifle. It looks like it could be an M16-ish, maybe, an M4. I don't know. I mean, I've used M16s and M4s and AK-47s, and those are weapons of war. When you can select how you shoot the weapon, whether it's semi-auto three-round burst or full auto, that is a weapon of war. An AR-15 is a semi-automatic rifle, just like a pistol, a nine-millimeter. Bang, 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 bang. As soon as the fastest, as fast as you can squeeze your finger is as fast as those bullets come out of there. So, do they look mean and bad? I guess so. If you're a liberal and you're scared of guns, they look mean and bad because they're, they're black and they have cool, you know, uh, like a handle on top and and their hand guards are all uh, vented and they're cool looking but they're not mean and bad it's a 223 round or a 5.56 NATO round it's not bad it's it's a hunting rifle uh, or a self-protection rifle 
So he's basically saying that he's going to go to all these, the police are going to go to these ranches in Texas, and the ranchers are all going to voluntarily go, oh, yes, sir, here's my AR-15. Please buy it back from me because you bought it from me in the first place, or I bought it from you in the first place. I don't think so. There's no government selling guns. So what's this buyback shit? You're taking the guns. You're confiscating. You're not buying them back. Tell it like it is, Beto. Um, so you think a rancher who's using this to protect his his cattle or his horses or whatever he's got, whatever livestock he's got, you think they're going to just go, sure, take my gun that I use to protect my livestock from coyotes and whatever other predators they have, depending on where they are in the country. Yeah, that's not going to freaking happen. Good goddamn luck on that one. So I'm telling you right now, guys, these the, the Democrats are they're 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 going they're going insane. I think they all need to be committed. We should just like have like this. We should we can we should we should create some kind of like uh, psychiatric hospital for the democratically insane, and we can just put them all in there, and they can all just go. You know, well, well, well we don't even have to medicate them because they can just talk to each other about all their bullshit, and um, you know. We need to get Medicare for all. Oh, yeah. oh I got to take all the guns. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody's a Russian bot. Oh, everybody's, the Russians love you. And we're a Russian asset. And they can all just sit there and talk and say to them, maybe we'll put them in like white rooms with like straight jackets. And they can, they can just, they can just go even more insane. Um, because that's what they are. They're absolutely, they're gone. They're, they're gone. They're gone. So they've gone nuts. I, I don't understand how a group of politicians can just, just go completely off the reservation like this. Common sense has gone out the window and insanity and Trump derangement syndrome is the new norm for these guys. You must have seen this. You have to. You can't just rely on me. I mean, I know. I am a wealth of of, of knowledge. I should, st I should sit on top of a mountain like the guru and just espouse my knowledge like this. Hold my fingers out like this. Oh. Okay. Anyways, so that's why I wanted to get that out. You guys know that Democrats have gone nuts, but Kamala Harris, Beto O'Rourke, and Hillary Clinton now thinking that Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset. That cracks me up. First of all, um, they're they're they've gone crazy. They've gone crazy. Hillary still can't get over the fact that she lost, and then Kamala and Beto are just grasping at straws because they're tanking. They're not going to... They're they're done. They're donezo. Donezeroni. Okay. I had maybe one one cup of coffee too many today. Um, anyways, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you don't like it, what can I say? Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. But do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you're still subscribed. So check that you're still subscribed. Um, hit that bell icon. Check out the Teespring link below. And if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, check out that PayPal link. Um, you can buy me, the conservative patriot, a cup of coffee. Or maybe lunch sometime. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And always remember to stay on the right.